Hey everyone, Pastor Chris here. For a time of devotion, we usually reflect on the previous Sunday's Bible reading, looking at the character and situation. But today is going to be pretty different, right? We woke up this morning and the skies were dark for most of the day. I thought about capturing a moment, but I didn't have time to, until my daughter reminded me when she got off school that to look outside to see what the world looks like. So I want to give you a view of what my neighborhood looks like here. You can see, um, it's not because I did not wash my car for several days, but this is the ash left over from the previous uh, night's fires that's going all around in California. Saw everyone's posting, you know, like on the line, it could be like life in the apocalypse or life with zombies. Uh, certainly this gives us much spark to our imaginations. Yet the scripture reminds us to capture all our thoughts and to bring it before the Lord. For sure, we keep in prayer those who are afflicted by the fires or those who are anxious with the potential call to evacuate. Also be in prayer for the, all the firefighters and those who are working to preserve property and also save lives. And also be of those who have lost property and lost lives during this time. In these moments, uh, it can bring much anxiety and depression because we don't know what life would look like. And of all these things cluttering our hearts, it is good to return to the Lord and to cast our anxieties on Him. It is also good for us to confess anything in our hearts before the Lord too. If there is a burden or a struggle which you've been wrestling with, now is a good time, um, not for the sake of being afraid, for the, for the sake of being confident before God, because he is the one who affirms us with his forgiveness and also with his grace to go through these unknown days. When we focus on the Lord, it allows us to have a peace which surpasses all our circumstances. So I encourage you to keep praying for those afflicted and for yourself to draw closer to the Lord in confession and repentance and ultimately to praise the Lord too. When we focus on him, we're able to look beyond our circumstances. And that gives us um, great comfort and peace as we uh, call upon him as our Lord and be able to focus on not just our circumstances, but on who God is and what he is doing in our midst. He is the Lord of all our days and our situations, so we do not have to be afraid. So may you continue to find your strength in the Lord and you may you be encouraged by his spirit and by his word at this time. May God bless you. Amen.